Are you enjoying your new hairstyle, then? Yes and no. Well, whilst Bob's making his mind up, let's go over to the shed now for the regional news headlines. Mainly no. Oh, man. Shut the door, sit down, we've got the news to read. Good evening. My name is Pat Arrowsmith. My name is Dave Wright. Pat. Dave Wright, Pat. No, Pat. Dave Wright, Pat. Dave Wright, Pat, Dave. Pat. Dave Wright, Pat. Dave. Pat. Ah, oh, Dave. Pat, man, read the news. Oh. Police are searching for a man in a buff-coloured sweater and tan shoes following a number of incidents near Buddy. That's right. And reports are coming in now as we speak from Sutton Caulfield suggesting that it might be quite windy there. Right, so if you live there, perhaps don't wear your hat tonight. Depending on what type of hat you've got. Nice one. Now, earlier today I saw a fella, about six foot two, blonde hair, staring into the window of the local birthday wrap shop. I didn't like the look of him and I suggest you keep your eyes peeled for him. That was me, Pat. No, you're dark-haired, Dave. Oh, you're quite right. Well now, spotted. carry on. Now then, I was coming back from the dry cleaners early on tonight, and I lost three mentolas in a pack between the dry cleaners and here. So if you find them, could you please bring them directly around the house or alternatively, and them into the local police station? Now, if any of you out there are still unsure, perhaps in your mind as to what a mentola looks like, uh, Dave here. Spot wow. All right. Nice one, Dave has done. A little drawing of a mentola. You see that there? Hey, hey. Hey. You trying to look at my bra, lad? Eh? What, you think there's something funny and newsworthy about a couple of fellas wearing brass? You yeah. trying to get a snake preview of me new gossard, are yeah. you? Are you? Eh? What? It's your game. It's my whoa whoa. Aye, aye. aye. Go on, clean up and you keep them good final tickets to Go on. on. Get, get out of here, you aye. pervert. Go on. Go on. Get out and you can keep your camera on. Oh, did you look at that? Things are, Ooh. things are really hotting up here at the Badger Watch. Hello there again. We're still at the Badger Watch. Thanks to Pat and Dave for the regional news headlines. What's happening now, Vic? Well, there is a lot of commotion, and there's been a lot of uh, activity going on around the corner and the route of that shed there. Probably things have been attracted by the uh, dirty, musty, pungent spoor that's been left there by some dirty animal earlier on this evening, you know, mentioning no names. But look, Vic, look there. Do you see that car oh, it's sort of beast? Do you see it? I get it, yes. Can you hear that noise, like raspberry sound? That's incredible. Thank God. What's that a mating call? I don't know. You that should know about that sort of thing. wasn't it? Yes, that's incredible, Blimey. isn't it? Wow, we <laughs> really love watching wildlife, don't we, Vic? We do, Bob. But, Bob, were you aware that wildlife exists outside the confines of our own particular garden? What? You mean...? Yes. Wildlife is fairly evenly distributed across the entire planet. Wow. And do you want proof? <sighs> yes. I do. <laughs> I thought you might. Well, take a look at this BBC documentary following a family of communistic puppy dogs surviving in quite incredible heat under the sensational Serengeti sun.